we're talking wedding, honeymoon, cross country move, where am I gonna live? So many fun, exciting things and so many things to figure out. I'm excited. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel, guess where I am? Uh, clearly, I don't have all of this many surfboards. I am in Oceanside. I decided to stop here for a couple days en route back home from Hawaii because the travel day from Hawaii to Texas is so long and you pretty much always lay over in like LA or San Diego or somewhere in California anyways. So I got off for a couple days to hang out with Jordy here. So this is going to be an Oceanside vlog. He's actually currently at a meeting right now. So we got a little time, just the two of us, which is a lot of fun. I've just been over here in this little work corner, getting things done. And I've had such a productive morning. So many things figured out, which is so great. Maybe a wedding venue, maybe a wedding date. <laughs> lots of things that we're like figuring out a lot quicker than I thought we would. So lots to update y'all on. One of the most fun things I've been doing this morning is going through all of my Hawaii footage which has been fun because I got a lot and I actually got a camera just for the trip. I showed y'all this in a vlog and I got this from Best Buy and Best Buy is partnering with me on this video. So I'm gonna be able to link this camera down below for y'all if you're interested and that link helps to support my channel as well. But I got this for Hawaii because I knew I'd be doing a lot of like hiking and just like being around and I didn't want to always bring my big vlog set up with the mic and the tripod and everything. So I got this little guy. This is the Canon PowerShot V10 and it's so compact and cute. And the thing that really got me is A, the flip up screen, but B, it has this little built-in tripod. So you can just set it on any surface and get content vertical or horizontal. It's smart. You can like flip it this way too and it will switch to vertical or this way and it will switch to horizontal. So this was so nice to bring along. I literally was like setting this up on like tree branches and rocks and stuff to get different clips, which is really handy and it fit in my fanny pack as well. But the PowerShot V10 is really good for low light as well because it has a one inch sensor and something else that was really handy for being on the go is there's an app through Canon. It's a free app and you can literally just basically send the footage from the camera to your app app without having to plug anything into anything on the go and get it on your phone immediately to post or whatever, which was great because I was out and about without my computer a lot that trip. I get pretty much all of my different camera and vlog equipment from Best Buy because A, they ship so fast and a lot of times I can just pick up and store same day and B, they have a price match guarantee. So you know that it's not going to be cheaper anywhere else, which is just great peace of mind to not have to do all that research. Thank you to Best Buy for partnering with me on this video. And I got a lot to catch up on. I don't even know where to start, to be honest. I don't even know where to start. Okay, we have a couple hours, the two of us before, you know, the, the two of us before Jordy gets back from his writing today. And so I'm kind of thinking, what if we walk to the ocean, wave hello at the waves, and then go grab like a coffee? And then chat and hang out. I think that sounds great. I am down to pretty much just swimsuit cover-ups out of my clean clothes, but that's okay because I'm just gonna wear my swimsuit cover-up with a tank underneath. And I don't think anyone will know. It's so nice that when I visit Jordy and I don't have a car, I could just take this little path straight to the beach and still go see the beach in the water. Also, it is literally 72 degrees right now, so I can be outside and be in a long sleeve shirt and be getting less sun and ugh, it's all great. And three minutes later, look where we're at. Wow. Here to do a little taste test with you because I got an iced oat chai latte and I haven't tried their chai before, I don't think. If so, I don't remember it. So I'm gonna rate it with you. Oh, oh, that's an exceptionally good chai. Nine and a half out of 10. It's not too sweet. It's got a good amount of spice. Ooh, I wish it wasn't $7 because I'd be back for that all the time. Kind of special, Oceanside just got Home State, which is a Texas themed restaurant. So there's breakfast tacos, chips and queso, frozen margaritas. It was started by a girl from Austin that couldn't find that here in SoCal. 
And so it's so sweet that it's basically like a little slice of my culture, my upbringing, walking distance from where Jordy's living. And I can go get breakfast tacos or queso, walking. That was a fun little adventure. I wanted to save the rest of my chai until I could sit down and have a modified coffee chat with you. Car chat. We just, we just talk a lot over here, don't we? This is gonna be a chai chat. A chai chat. I wanted to talk specifically about my plans for my future. I'm gonna tell you my current plan with the uh, asterisk. I just always reserve the right to change my mind, okay? Things can still ebb and flow, and honestly, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what my plan is, but here is the general idea. The hope is that I will be moving to Oceanside. It's really, really one over my heart, and I'll talk more about that, but the thing, is is my lease goes through December 11th I think and we're leaving basically then for the big Paris trip to do Christmas in France and I will be in Europe from like the second or so week of December all the way through the first week of January so for a very long time I think my plan is to probably late November, maybe after Thanksgiving, officially make the move because the cross country move can take quite a while. I want to kind of ease into that change. I don't want to be like full fledged Austin and then just at the flip of a hat, flip of a hat, flip of a coin. Words have been really hard for me today, but then just like all of a sudden changing to full fledged San Diego. I want to kind of ease into it more and continue to build my own community here because once I'm living here, Jordy's job is on the road a lot. Um, so he's not going to always be here and I want it to feel like my town and my community before I officially live here. So I do think I'll be splitting time back and forth between here and Austin quite a bit over the next couple months. Um, maybe even spending as long as like three weeks out here at a time and then like a month at home at a time. It's also really important to me to spend enough time in Texas this next season because as you might know, both my best friends are having their babies in September and I just wanna be available and around, not in their hair hopefully, but just a phone call away if anybody needs anything or needs me to run an errand or whatever that might be. So there's three things that I was really hesitant about about ever moving back to California. First is being like, I just had so much hurt happen in LA that I wanted to leave California behind and just forget about it and have nothing to do with it. And it's been really redeeming and refreshing for me to fall in love with a different part of California. I don't think I could ever live in LA again. I think LA and I had our time. Honestly, LA culture is just such a hustle. It's just chaotic a lot of the time and it doesn't have those memories for me. And um, Oceanside in particular is very much a small town, small community with all the perks. So that was one thing I was hesitant about. The second thing is just the cost, taxes, prices. And that's something I'm gonna have to just get over. Um, at the end of the day, you can't live only concerned about money and I need to remember that. Um, but Austin itself is getting quite expensive. So cost of living in terms of like apartments, Jordy's apartment is a lot cheaper than mine in Austin and he has a two bedroom a block from the beach. But um, taxes are a big thing to consider. So that I'm just basically gonna take the L on. But the third biggest thing that was really hard for me to get over the fact mentally was I want to spend as much time around my parents as possible. Um, I adore them. We're really close. I will say there's been a lot of conversation that they are ready to look for a secondary residence. You know, my dad is getting close to retirement and they are tired of how brutal the Texas summers are. So there might be some talks of them looking for a spot out here and splitting time. And it makes me so excited to know that I could have half the year with them here and that that's something that has already kind of been on their radar. Honestly, before I even met Jordy, they were looking out at a lot of places. They went and did a little tour in Colorado, seeing if maybe that's the vibe. They decided it wasn't, but my dad loves the ocean. So they're like, maybe this is the perfect thing. Maybe we get a little retirement something out here and spend the really hot summers out near you and it makes me feel really excited. Austin and I also had our time and it it's so special and I love it and I can't wait to visit all the time but I will be really excited for the better temperatures and also I've just been struggling so much to find a church community that I love out there 
and the church that we have out here, I just adore it. I adore everything about it. I feel like I already know everybody that goes to it and it's a, such a tight knit community. And just having that core community is something I've really been craving. So I feel really good about all of it. Yeah, hope that answered some questions. Just a long, long chat. <laughs> I'm excited. I really am. But we're talking wedding, honeymoon, cross country move. Where am I gonna live? Parents may be living here, Christmas in Paris. So many fun, exciting things and so many things to figure out. And also, all of that is very expensive. So, no more $7 chives for me moving forward. <laughs> Look who's off work. Hi. Also, I just told the vlog earlier today, officially about my moving plan, eventually. Mm -hmm. And to, to commi commemorate? Commiserate? Commemorate, definitely not commiserate. <laughs> what does that mean? It means like, be sad together. Oh, to, com to commiserate the move. <laughs> Look at this cute little travel mug. It says, hi from Oceanside, and it has all the different, like, there's the Oceanside Pier. There's, wait. What monument is that? I think that is the um, is there surf a... museum. Oh, cool. No, no, that's the town hall. Oh, that's, town, that's hall. The town hall. It's really cool. And um, the, so. the amphitheater by the beach mm -hmm. and the coffee shop that, oh, we just went to communal coffee. Communal coffee. So good, the Very black good. sesame latte. It's incredible. You got a blueberry Earl Grey mm -hmm. latte. Yep. So good. Anyways, is it cute? I'm excited she's gonna be an outside. Outside girl. <laughs> What did you just say? This is amazing. Is this so good? This is one of our other favorite spots. It's called Shoots, like that. It's right next to Communal Shoots. And they always have like seasonal things and a lot gluten free. So this elote seasonal, look, it's like the whole thing was just grilled. What is this again? Yakitori? Blue, bluefin. Bluefin? Grilled, grilled bluefin cut along the bloodline. line. You should. Grilled bluefin yakitori. Should I get a taste? Okay. That's amazing. Wow. I would have guessed that's like, I don't know, pork. That's really good. Morning. Remember that Texas themed restaurant I told you about? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get breakfast tacos and take it to the beach because Jory's teaching a surf camp to kids this morning, which is yep. pretty cute and wholesome. And <gasps> they have some breakfast tacos that I can eat, and I'm excited. Look at how cute it is. Look, it's welcome home of both my homes combined Texas and Oceanside. <laughs> On the beach at 8 a.m. Pretty good way to start the day. Here's yours. You want these now? Sure. Okay. Here's my little setup. And I found this house that has all that shade. Look at how far the shade goes. I'll, I'll be fully in shade the whole time I'm here. But this is a very special beach for a lot of reasons. Some reasons you'll find out in the future, but I I do love this beach. Look at, look at it. What a good morning. I got breakfast taco in my belly. I feel like vlogs like this where I'm just really thankful for everything, I probably sound so annoying because I'm like, look, this is great. Look, this is great. Look, this is great. This is great. It's like I was watching back the Hawaii vlog and every single time I like would show y'all anything, I'd be like, it's beautiful. This is beautiful. 
Wow, it's beautiful, beautiful. It's very one note, but it is how I'm feeling. Oh, what a good way to start the day. This is actually kind of a funny story. I had a dream last night that we were in New York City and Jordy wanted to get married on stage during a Taylor Swift concert. And he said, there's a specific song that I want to do our vows. And I'm not gonna tell you what song it is, but it's the ninth song of the set. And then I was like, okay, you know what? I've done a wedding before, whatever you want to do. Sure, let's do it. But then he shows up and there's this like bright orange long sleeve swim shirt that he wears a lot. He wore it every day in Hawaii. He shows up on our wedding day in my dream wearing that. And I was like, you know, do you think that maybe we could wear something else if like we're gonna have these pictures forever? And I was like, I know you have that blue button down. How about something like that? And he goes, ooh, I wore that a lot recently and I kind of wanna just like save that for, so I don't wear it too much. <laughs> and I was like, you, you realize how that sounds, right? And then my alarm went off. And I told that to Jordy this morning and he was like, wow, your brain just threw every single fear at you at once, didn't it? <laughs> We're in the neighboring town of Carlsbad. I'm gonna see if I can't get my nails done because as soon as I get home I have a shoot and it'd be great to cross it off my list now before I'm home. And then I'm gonna try to walk back to Oceanside from here. It's only like a mile and it's a beautiful walk. Maybe stop at a coffee shop and route. No more $7 chives for me moving forward. <laughs> We're gonna try this spot, Popular Nails, which is right next to ice cream and shave ice. But I've had enough shave ice last week, so tempting. But we're gonna try it. Great experience, look at how cute. I went super short because guess what Monday is? My first pottery class at the new studio. So back to very short nails. And the walk back, like I said, is only a mile and we walk past, we call it the swamp, the Shrek swamp, which is really just like a beautiful, um, like preserve maybe, that I could show y'all on the way if you wanna see something scenic with me. There's ducks, it's like a pond, it's pretty nice. This is probably one of my top three favorite restaurants in this area. It's called Campfire. If you're ever in Carlsbad, here, here you go. They make almost everything over open flame and they're just so cute and so yummy. Should I start like a San Diego food Instagram? If, when, whenever this is my home? Because my backup plan, if YouTube falls through, is I wanna be a celiac food blogger. Wouldn't that be so fun? Here's the swamp from this side, but there's trails that walk all through it. So, you know what? Let's go do that. And you enjoy one last peaceful montage of just some of the scenic things in this area. Praise I go. Hope y'all enjoyed that. I am back at Jordy's apartment and he is someone over. They're doing a right again today, but I'm gonna hop on a couple hours of computer work before I gotta go to the airport and fly back home to Texas heat, but to Max, which I'm really excited for. So next vlog, it's gonna be getting back to home, which will be great. And I wanna say thanks again to Best Buy and Canon for partnering with me on this video. I will link that camera down below for you through my link, which like I said, helps to support my channel, but it's the PowerShot V10 by Canon. So fun, such a cute little camera to just throw in a fanny pack and take with you. So all of that information will be down in my description. But thanks for spending a couple days in Oceanside with me. A lot is around the corner. So like I've said, buckle up. I love you. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in another video literally tomorrow for me. So very soon.